All right, just pulling into the farm here. Looking like another beautiful day to get some harvest done. All right, so the plan for today, we've got some soybeans to harvest. There's a field just down there. So we got to get the header hooked up to the combine here. That way we can get going get out to the field and get to work. This morning, unfortunately, Grant is not around. He's out uh, doing some business. So we're going to be by ourselves this morning, which is not a big deal. We can handle it, but should be a good day also youtube says that over 75 percent of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed so if you guys enjoyed today's video consider subscribing so that i can actually go and hook up a header because apparently i don't know what i'm doing anyway i gotta go grab the grain cart because we're gonna need that and then we're gonna need the semi as well we should be able to get out of here yeah we should be able to get out of here with the truck there i just noticed the lawn is looking pretty long looks like grant needs to get back out here and uh, do some mowing because yikes it's seen some better days anyway i'm gonna go take this out to the field here and then uh, we're probably gonna run back and grab the combine well it looks like the other farmers down that way are still pretty busy we're actually pretty behind on soybean harvest here so we gotta get to work i think uh i think jake's going down there yeah it looks like it is he running his combine yeah he is okay yeah he's going down there well we are gonna park this tractor right here and then well it's a, it's a long run all the way back bear what the heck man you could have gotten in the truck and gave me a ride back but no you're just here doing nothing as usual what a useless farmhand all right we gotta grab the semi as well because we need to actually take the uh soybeans back to the bin once they're harvested because well i'm not taking the grain cart all the way back both ways Okay, so we got the semi and follow me here, and I am going to take this out to the field where hopefully we can actually get going because we've wasted enough time this morning already. Keep getting distracted. I was going to say we should go over there and help Jake out with his harvest, but I think he's got two combines over there as well. Him and King are going on that. We've got enough soybeans to do. In fact, probably too many. Oh, it looks like I left the hazards on in the tractor there. That's not going to be good for the battery. All right, combine's already unfolded here. Drop the header down and start her up. We already cleaned this thing out from the corn that we harvested, so we can just pretty much keep going with this. First, they got to go turn those hazards off on that tractor, though. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to roll again. But hopefully, after we get this finished, next week, we should be rolling around into fall tillage. So hopefully, the snow doesn't fly too soon for that. I don't want it to get mucky in those fields. Well, it looks like the creek's flowing again. It's been a while since that's happened. That creek's been dried up for the past few years, but it looks like it's flown again, which is good. All right, so I cut across the field here. That way we can do this in kind of big chunks over here. Looks like Jake is going over there. I've never seen that bin set up over there. He might have just set that up. Huh, cool. Anyway, we are almost full here. We're getting that way anyway. So I kind of got to set the semi up there so we can use the grain cart to dump it in there. Would be better if we had extra help though. All right, so while we're down here, we're just going to dump this out here real quick. That way we can go for another round and not have to worry about uh, getting full. Well, it shouldn't take too long to get this field done. We we'll probably get most of it done today, actually. This combine cruises along pretty good. We've had no issues recently with this thing, so pretty much got all the kinks worked out of it, other than the uh, header. There's there was one problem with it, but we got that fixed. It seems they're running well now, so can't complain really. I think Grant was gonna go and look at a new tillage unit today, so hopefully. Maybe by the end of today, he brings back a new tillage unit for fall tillage this year, because I don't really like the one that we have right now. It's not bad, but could be better. So hopefully he brings back a new one. That'd be awesome. If not, the other one will work that we have. But I think we're going to actually have two units running this year. I guess we'll find out, though. Well, now that we get the headlands of this piece done here, we're probably just going to go back and forth from now on. I smell something a little funny coming from somewhere. I got no idea what it is. It smells almost a little smoky. Hold on. I'm going to turn around here and check it out what it is. Yeah, something's not right here. Hold on. Let me lift this up and turn this off. Yeah, something's not right. All right, shut down here. Yeah, I can smell a little something a little smoky there. That's not good. Well, I can't see anything burning here or anything smoking. So I'm going to go head back to the truck, grab some tools so I can actually open that all up there. Because I got no idea what the heck's going on. Something's burning in there. I want to know about it. Man, where the heck are those tools? I had them somewhere. I've been trying to look for them for the past like five minutes here and I can't find it anywhere. Oh, no, that's not good. How the heck did that go up in flames so fast? Okay, I got to call the fire department. This is not good. The combine is on fire. Okay, I got to call the fire department. This is bad. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'm on the east side of the squad farm here. Uh, we have a combine that's up in flames. Okay, sir, you have a combine fire on the east side of uh, squad property. Is that north or south of the county line road there? Uh, that would be south okay sir we have emergency services en route to your location at this time is there any additional information that i need uh nope this the combine's on fire that's that's it okay sir sit tight make sure you stand back from the combine emergency services will be there shortly okay all right thank you all right so fire department's on its way i'm gonna go unhook the grain cart here and i'm gonna go head back to the farm grab the disc 
That way we can disc around the combine there. That way the rest of the field doesn't catch on fire. The fire department is on their way. So hopefully they can get this put out. This is, oh no, this is not good. Man, I hope I can get that disc back there before it spreads. Town is only about 15 minutes away from here. So hopefully they should be here in about five to 10. Obviously I got to suit up and everything. So I'm going to say probably 10 minutes, but the way they drive, yeah, they'll be in here in no time. Man, you can see it all the way from back there. That is crazy. All right, where is the disc ground here? We got it somewhere. Yeah, I see it in the shed there. It is just not my day. Okay, the disc is hooked up. We are ready to go. Let's get back to, to the field here before this fire spreads anymore. I think it's better that we get the disc and get it all worked up around there before it spreads than us just standing there waiting for the fire department to come. They should be here any minute. Probably about the same time we're going to get there, actually. At least the rest of the equipment is fairly far away from the combine, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Kind of just more worried about the field. I hope Grant has good insurance on that combine because that is not a good situation. I think I can hear some sirens in the distance, so they got to be close. All right, we got to get this thing unfolded here. All right, come on, unfold. And this is taking forever. This is not good. Oh boy, the fire's gotten bigger. Oh yeah, here they are. Here they are. All right, pull into the field here. I don't want to get too close. All right, let's just get around here. I do believe Jake is actually part of the volunteer firefighter department, so I think he might be out here today. I'm just going to go pull off to the side here. That way we got this out of the way. Hey, Austin, is this your, did y'all do this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did this. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Sam, what happened? Any idea what happened? Uh, I just seen it smoke. I, it was like smelling a little smoky. I couldn't figure out what it was. I needed some tools to get in there and look, and I tried finding some tools in the semi there. Next thing I know, I turn around and this thing's in flames. Okay. Gotcha. What I'm going to do, uh, it's going to take a couple trucks to try and dust this fire here. It's pretty strong. I'm going to real quick wet the ground around it and try and uh, prevent it from spreading on all this dry chaff down here. Yeah, I think I'm going to jump back in the tractor here and just get another round around just to make sure it's all good. All right, so we're just getting an extra round here just in case the wind picks up and it decides it's going to blow over this way. Just to make sure, just an extra layer of protection there. Looks like Jake's wet in the ground here. Yeah, I'd, I'm assuming probably an electrical fire or, or sometimes chaff just builds up in the belts and, uh, well, it starts a fire. There's a whole lot of different causes that can make it happen, so can't really say which one it was until you know for sure but we won't really be able to tell until uh, the fire's done here and even still probably won't be able to tell very well after that don't want to get too close to this because i've actually burnt the paint all right i think we should be good now i'm actually going to fold this up and if it does start to spread more over to the other parts there we can always go and do an extra round or two but hey i guess we get early uh to fall tillage yeah it shouldn't spread to the next field though i think we should be safe there but man this is not a good situation grant is not gonna be happy about this i should actually give him a call is what i should do but i'll wait till a little bit after you getting it down jake i think we're making some progress here all right it's starting to thin out a little bit i was able to push it back um we're starting to get clear past the tires i'm trying to get the main kind of uh body now it's definitely a lot of there's a lot of fuel and stuff in here and there's a lot of dry crops so it's just got a lot of fuel you know yeah yeah it's not a good situation amazingly though the uh the paint yeah amazingly it must be some heat resistant paint or something yeah <laughs> something john deere must have must have did some work to their combines they must have hopefully they weren't expecting their combines to catch fire i hope not either all right, I think we got that front taken care of. I'm still trying to work on this backside, but we're getting the we're getting the fire to to calm down here a little bit. Oh, that's good. Is this Grant's combine? Yeah, this would be Grant's. Oh, he's not gonna like this phone call. Nope, he's not. I'm waiting to call him here. That just when it's out. Well, I think we should have it here in just a little bit. This fire is starting to dwindle here. All right. I seen you were harvesting over there this morning. Yeah, I was. I got called on to a call for a car fire in town and was leaving that, leaving the the call when I got paged to come to this one. Oh, okay. Well, sorry to ruin your day. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's volunteer fire department it is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, this is, this is something. I haven't had to deal with a combine fire before. They're a little too common, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I've had neighbors I've, that have had them, but just not... On yeah. our farm. Yep, I've I've had to uh, respond to a few of them. This would be my this would be my third that I've had to deal with. This year? No, total. Total. Oh, total. Okay. How many this year? This year? Um <laughs> actually two of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I got it. All right. Well, that's awesome. At least we got it taken care of. Man, that is Yeah. That's not great. 
Oh, is this uh? Oh, this is a different county from this fire yeah. truck. Yeah. Uh, there was another county, so we're short-staffed today. That's why I was on call, and um, I was up at the. Uh, I was still filling out the the paperwork for the for the fire I was already on, so they dispatched this county guy over because there was two fires going on when that one that I got called to was gone. Yeah. So they happened to come on over into our county to take care of that other one anyways, and uh, when this call got put in, we just, they routed over here along with us as well, so. Oh, okay. Well, at least we got it out. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna put this hose away, and uh, if you need anything from me, just let me know. Your insurance will take care of the combine, and yeah, uh, yeah. definitely go through take some photos of it for your insurance claim i wouldn't move the combine even though like you're not going to be able to unless you tow it yeah no i, I, I'm, I don't combine. got any worries about it moving so yeah um i would definitely leave it exactly how it is so you can get the insurance company to come out and take a look at it okay well then i guess that's what we'll do um i i don't think i'm gonna be able to carry on to this today uh, i think i got a few other things i gotta do but uh yeah well thank you for coming out i appreciate it all right well if you have any other combine fires just let me know oh yeah i'll, I'll let you know i i sure hope i don't though <laughs> yeah all right all right see ya see ya well that's the end of that i guess uh i'm probably gonna take this back to the yard i can't really continue on to uh doing any more harvest today because the case is in for work and well the <laughs> the other combine is kind of burnt up at the moment so uh, i'm gonna have to call grant here let him know what happened uh we're gonna have to go take some pictures for insurance all that good stuff. I think I got to get that bagger out of the way, though. I haven't dealt with that yet. So I'm probably going to go do that. But man, that's not a good situation. It's just one of those days, I guess. Um, I don't think there's much else to do for today. Kind of just got to get this washed off, put away. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't know if we're going to get this washed off because kind of got to go on this corn next. But what I do got to do is got to get that out of the way. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know what? We're actually going to uh, take a pass down this here. Because it kind of needs to be done. This is Grant's garden right here. We ended up harvesting with the combine. I left a little bit there. Kind of forgot about that. But hey, may as well cultivate it while we can. All right, there we go. Lower this down. And we'll just get going. There we go. We'll have this done in two seconds. Man, fastest job ever right there. And done. Perfect. Well, let's shut this off here. I got to go take care of a few more things around the farm. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. We're so close to 100K. Literally so close there. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next. I go straight from the bank. Gassing up the tank. Cranking up the radio. Playing old Hank. It ain't that long. Tell them back at the